The Glavin Ford Locker Room Show takes us inside of Lady Tiger Cross Country, headed to the state championships once again in Wamigo, and a regional champion, Lady Tiger. So we're going to start with uh, having you guys introduce yourself to our viewers and say who your parents are, please. Lauren, we'll start with you. My name is Lauren Smith, and I'm the daughter of Mike and Jesse Smith. I'm Janae Wolf, and my parents are Chris and Stephanie Wolf. I'm Kelly Fitzenmeyer, and my parents are Luke and Jacqueline Fitzenmeyer. Um, I'm Maddie Larson, and my parents are David and Lori Larson. I'm Raylan Kramner, and my parents are Lisa and Jacob Kramner. I'm Izzy Matheny, and my dad's Russell Matheny. My name's Clara, and my parents are Chris and Stephanie Wolf. My name is Natalie Slichter, and my parents are Jay and Linda Slichter. Okay, we're going to pass it all the way back down to Lauren, since we have our lone senior on this year's team. Um, talk about the season a little bit, Lauren. I know it's been kind of challenging for you at times this year uh, to get back out and get going, and now you seem to have it under control. Kind of talk about what the season's been like. Yeah, it's been a bit of a different one, and it's kind of been a little different for our team as well. Um, we kind of have had a rocky start there at the beginning, um, but we're now finally putting the pieces back together and are ready to compete and uh, get business done. What was it like going to a course you've never ran before? Marion's where the regional was, and I know Coach said you guys hadn't ran there before. I, I honestly, I like new courses because you don't really know what to expect. Um, but lucky for us, this one was pretty flat and nothing like Wamigo. So for sure, yeah. You know. yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Wamigo. What we'll is passed down and, and maybe uh, talk about the season a bit as well. Maybe share some thoughts on a highlight for you personally on the year. I'll just pass the mic down. Um, I think the highlight for me was honestly regionals. The fact that, that was like the first time all season that our team, we were all like 100% healthy. Everybody was there. Nobody was sitting out because they weren't at the meet or something. So it was just nice to finally feel like our team is all back together. Great. Our regional champion, by the way, Kylie. Um, I'd have to say regionals as well because everyone really competed as best as they could. And it was nice to win a big meet again and win regionals once again. Um, I like, I like Wamigo's course, but also winning regionals was really. It's a big a highlight. Yeah. <laughs> and to do it back to back years yeah. is, 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 is outstanding. Um, mine was probably regionals. It was the best time I've had this season. So. See, I did a peak at the right time. You guys are doing it. Mine was probably regionals. I had the best race. Nice. I would say running at Wamigo is like the hills can be hard, but. I don't know, it's a good experience, so I personally like that one. I personally like the workouts, so we all worked together, and even though we were running individually, we pushed each other to go faster. Yeah, league champs, regional champs, and now you go into the state championships. Lauren, for you, a final chance at uh, state. Um, what about Wamigo? I know the hills, you either like them or you don't. I don't know where each of you fall, but I, I, there's a few that sounds like they they like to embrace the hills. Lauren, for you, uh, what's what's the favorite part of Wamigo and then the least favorite? Um, I like the competition at Wamigo. It keeps you engaged. Uh, the hills make sure that you stay in the race the whole time. Um, my least favorite, it's obviously really hard. By the end, you're, you can feel it. <laughs> um, and you're usually ready to be done. But um, I... Overall, all have had a pretty good experience with it. So I'll let anyone take the mic that wants to. Give, give me an idea what this week is like compared to the rest of the season. I know you work all season long to, for this week to prepare for state. Does anyone have comments on is there something different or is it just status quo? Keep business going. Keep business going. Yeah, um, I'd say it's pretty normal. I think we rest out a little bit more for sure, but... I'd say it's pretty normal. Your guys race 135, is that the time on your race Saturday? 1110. 1110, yep. thank you, thank you, 1110. Um, is that a good time, you think, for you guys, as far as not having to wait all day long, but not having to show up and be ready to go? Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be pretty, the weather's supposed to be not <laughs> pretty, great, pretty so crappy, yeah. at least it won't be at like 8 a.m. because right. it would be a lot colder, so. Okay, uh, as a consensus, who is, Excited about running in the rain? Anybody? No, I didn't think so. But it looks like there's a possibility that could happen, and cross-country runners, they don't care. You guys are tough enough to handle 
any conditions <laughs> that are out there. Guys, congratulations on a terrific season and uh, best, I know, third place at state last year. So we climbed the medal stand this year. Is that the idea? Yeah. yeah. I like it. Hey, good luck on Saturday. Thank That's you. our Lady Tiger cross-country team on the Glavin Ford Locker Room Show.